Hi everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to be joining in with Audrey Yeager's Summer Scrappin' series for 2020. There are a bunch of us making summer layouts over the next couple of weeks, so make sure to check the description box for the links to Audrey's channel and make sure to check out the amazing creations by all the other talented scrappers participating. So today I have chosen to scrap these two photos of my little guy. This was in 2016. I'm still scrapping that album. So I guess I am quite a way behind. These photos were taken right at the end of February. So it was still just just inside summer for us. Um, although I do live in the subtropics. So summer for us really goes well into April. But it was a beautiful day. You can see it's nice and golden light. So I thought these would be perfect to scrap for this series. Working with a kit I put together mainly from the Pebbles O Summertime and the Amy Tan Stay Sweet collection, but there is some simple stories in there as well. So I'm just putting some white mixed media cardstock onto this Amy Tan pattern paper for a border. I have to put a border on my mixed media backgrounds mainly because the paper I use is just a little bit smaller than 12 by 12. And I quite like those uh, little slices of um, citrus fruits on the green background. So I did go ahead and cut that off camera and I've just adhered that to my mixed media white cardstock with some wet glue. Um, that cut apart sheet is from Simple Stories. I'm not sure which collection it is, something to do with summer, <laughs> but I really like that sunshine on my mind uh, 3x4 card. I did trim it down just a little bit because it was a bit big and I've gone ahead and trimmed a little bit extra off my photos as well. They're close enough to 3x4 uh, at the moment. I think they might be slightly wider than 3, but they're pretty close. So um, essentially I'm doing a 2 3x4 layout. So I'm just adding some white uh, heavyweight paper to the back of my photos here just for a very thin white border. I do this to most of my photos. I want to say 95% of my photos get a thin white border. It just helps them to uh, really stand out, I suppose, off the page when there's a lot going on behind them, which there will be by the time I'm finished with this layout. I do go a little bit mixed media heavy. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's what most of this video is going to be. So this is another Amy Tan Stay Sweet um, from the paper pad. I like the bright red and the lemon, so I'm just adding another thin border and distressing with my scissors. I did go ahead and distress two edges of that um, sunshine card as well. This is a Simple Stories paper. Um, I know it looks kind of an odd shape. Uh, I just really like that color and I don't have a lot of that color in this kit that I'm using. So I'm trying to use as uh, little of this paper as I possibly can to try and save it. So you can probably see there I've been joined by my little blonde headed helper. <laughs> she insisted on sitting on my lap for this portion of the video. So um, I do apologize for that grubby little snuggle comforter toy that you can see there, but she, um, that goes everywhere <laughs> with her. So I'm just going through now and adding some clear gesso to my white background. You can use white, but I find that my white ends up um, turning a bit of uh, kind of yellowy cream color. So I prefer to use clear if I'm using white cardstock. I did start out with my palette knife, but I do just give up and go in with my brush because I couldn't be bothered scraping it all out evenly. <laughs> so once that's dried, I'm coming in with some just a plain white modeling paste and this um, stencil that is from Rosie Studio, I think. And it's just a very small little three by four stencil and it's a bit of a flower. I think it's flowers flower pattern and I'm just trying to do roughly a big kind of curved C shape around my page so this will sit on the left side of my album when it's open so I'm kind of trying to contain everything um, inside that curve if that makes sense I really hope that makes sense <laughs> so I'm just smushing that white through the stencil I'm not being particularly careful as you can see I'm being pretty pretty messy it didn't line up perfectly it really is not going to matter I'm going in with a bunch of mixed media and um, yeah you really can't tell in the end so there's no point in being too careful I'm just going ahead now and gluing my little photo cluster well not gluing um, taping and gluing my photo cluster to itself so I can move it all as one big piece and now I'm just tracing carefully inside where that is going to sit on my layout so that I have a good guide for where my mixed media is going to go. If you tend to have a problem with doing your mixed media and then you can't see much of it once you put your photos and everything back on the page that is a good tip for you just trace where you think you're going to place your photos just carefully with pencil. 
all right here comes the fun stuff I pulled out a variety of blues and aquas and teals in my acrylic paints and my inks and I'm just coming in with this Kaiser craft acrylic paint I've watered it down with just some water to make it more of that spreadable consistency and I'm just using the, the packaging technique so I am just splotching the paint down onto the paper first and then packaging it on top to help spread it and because I've gessoed my page I can do that um, if you hadn't gessoed you would have the splotches left from where you put the paintbrush down but because there is gesso on the background it is going to move um, once I squash the packaging down on top of it so I'm coming in now and just sort of holding my brush vertically and hitting it directly down at the page and that way I'm getting some nice big droplets coming out Okay, now I'm coming in with, this is some um, iridescent texture gel. I'm just playing with this layout. I do a lot of mixed media. I try a lot of things. I have a lot of fun with doing this. So I'm just using a lighter mint colored acrylic paint and mixing that with that iridescent gel medium, not texture gel, gel medium, <laughs> and some water again, just to make it smush nicely. And that iridescent gel, I don't think you can actually tell by the end of this layout that I've used it, but um, I used it with the layout before this and I was enjoying using it. So I thought, why the heck not? <laughs> it basically just turns your medium uh, pearlescent kind of metallic finish. It's really pretty. So I've done that and I'm just doing this really not trying to make it too perfect. I'm being pretty messy with it doing some splatters now I'm just holding my brush again directly vertically and squeezing the tip so that some nice big drops come out and now some navy so this is the distress oxide ink pad and I'm just I smush that straight onto my messy mat and add some water and mix it up that way I find that's just the easiest way to do it I just wanted a bit of a darker contrast so I'm just doing a few splatters and then a couple of little spots with the packaging technique just right behind my photos there so they just peek out nicely now this is a bit of fun. This turned out really pretty actually. I was really happy with it. This is the Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel in white and I usually would smush this through a stencil. Um, this is the first time I'm using it this way. I'm just scraping it straight on top of that um, modeling paste and my background randomly with a palette knife and it looks so pretty by the time I'm finished with it. It's really sparkly. Really really pretty. I love that stuff. Okay, now this is it, I promise. <laughs> um, a Distress Oxide spray in Spun Sugar. I just wanted a bit more of that pink that I used behind that top photo there. So um, I just splattered that all around the outside and that's my mixed media done. So I'm going to do a little bit of embellishing now, nothing crazy because I have a lot going on on the background, um, but I am just pulling out um, some of these embossed puffy stickers. Those are the Stay Sweet um, from Amy Tan. Um, both of those so the thickest pack and those embossed puffy stickers I'm putting a little house there because we were at my in-laws house so it does make sense he's on the deck there so um, yeah it's not a totally random embellishment I'm using some of the die cuts from the Pebbles O Summertime collection I just cut those little flip-flops apart because I want to layer them so I've just realized I haven't glued my photos down so I'm just going ahead with some wet glue and I did completely forget to pull the uh, backing off the double-sided tape so that's under there <laughs> but oh well I use plenty of wet glue because I have all that mixed media going on so again that little drink is from the Pebbles collection so are these little stickers I'm just going to add this little sun hat and some cherries there adding in a few squares of foam just to lift up these embellishments because um, even though I haven't put foam behind my photos they are sitting up on top of that texture paste so they are quite raised up um, a couple more of these little stickers a little popsicle and a little strawberry I'm just adding wet glue to these stickers because of all that mixed media and the, especially the texture gel nothing is going to stick to that without a wet glue so again the St. Pebbles collection um, these are just some teeny tiny clear stickers they're really really sweet so I'm just going to add a few in just as some sprinkly bits I'm just going to do a couple of lines of journaling with a pink pen I'm just following on from my lazy days title there uh, at grandpa's house are the best days and then the date and the final thing I'm going to add is some of these little glittery enamel dots in three groups of three just around my embellishment clusters there and I will add a bit of wet glue just to make sure those are secure and that is my layout finished thank you so much for joining me today again don't forget to check the description box for the link to Audrey's channel close-ups coming up and I'll see you next time bye guys